character, but it's just enough information for me to follow to get these characters in place. And down here, we've got the character. So he's all ready to go now. So what, what I'll start doing is start plotting this character out into these key poses. So again, remember to double check your layer with regards to the layer properties, the 3D path and so on. It'll still work if you have it in the linear motion. It will just be, it won't be so smooth. So at least with the curved one, we, we can adjust it and fine tune it and it'll be a bit smoother. So first things first, we're going to make sure that we're using the correct tools here. So we're, we're going to be animating. So these tools here, you've got your animate button and we'll be using the transform tool to move the body parts here. Okay, so this character is exposed for one, one frame. So what we're going to do is make sure it's taken to the end. Um, I've already done this, so it's all ready to go. So all I'm going to do is with these drawings now I'm going to key frame where they change so here just going to hit F6 and again here 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 and here at the end okay this end one I'm just going to move him along line him up there so we've got the first And the last pose there and you'll see kind of front moonwalks along this the screen here so we're going to move to the second pose because we've keyframed this we can start to manipulate this character into the pose there so i'm just going to come in and we're literally just going to use the transform tool to change this up so let's zoom in select the entire character I'm just going to start moving him into position here these first few frames um, the feet are going to be in a stationary position and what we'll do at the end of the animation is we'll look at keeping those in place because there'll be a bit of movement so we need to fix that at the end so what I'm doing is just moving this into position uh, I can't see the other arm here, so what I need to do is come down here, come to Chinnery Peg. The character's held within a peg, which means that wherever I move the character, scale it up and down, every, everything stays together. So all the body parts are kept in that peg, so I'm going to come down to Torso and turn that off. So I can reach the arm now. So I'm just going to bring that back. It's kind of doing the same thing as the other arm. They're working together bring the torso back the head's kind of looking forward because he's going to be concentrating on where he's jumping and kind of judging and figuring out the distance and the power he's going to need to project himself so coming over here all the pieces of the head are contained within the head symbol for example the eye and so on so you can select all these separately but we need the entire head so if we select this at the top now we can move that so it's kind of looking across now okay so I might tilt him just a bit more just so his backs at more of an angle there and these legs we're going to bring up it doesn't matter if you nudge them around a little bit because the speed of the animation will cover up any tiny little changes you've made there okay and this leg so they, these are all in a hierarchy these body parts so everything's attached for example the foot's attached to the lower leg the lower leg to the top leg and so on so I'm just gonna Nudge him up, see if we can get the feet in roughly the same position there. OK, 
okay that works let's bring this back just a little bit okay so we've got two keyframes and if we scroll between you'll see here the body moving and you'll see also the feet here they're moving up and down so what we're going to do later on is figure out a way to fix those feet in position so they don't bounce around like that okay so let's move on to the third key pose which is kind of the same as the second but more crunched down so we're just going to do the same come in and start changing this all out this leg spin that around there and this one what I'm going to do here is change the hands out because he's going to be his body's going to be in a tense state now so the, the hands are going to be clenched ok let's again bring this head to about here let's hide the torso again so I can reach that arm so maybe something around there and as I say we're going to swap this out so as long as you've got the library open select the hand you've got some substitutions here so we can swap that out bring the torso back and this arm's kind of doing the same really so we'll swap the hand out there's a few different hands in here you can use um, but we're using these clenched fists here so okay let's bring the body back just a bit okay also here I'm going to swap the feet out to feet with bent toes because he's going to be pushing off of his feet now so let's zoom in and get these into position so let's move the body up slightly so as he's going through this first pose you'll see his hands are open then they close here so he's getting ready to and watch the feet too they'll change two okay and in the next position we've got him kind of in the air now so he's in the kind of superman pose and again he's still looking kind of head he's concentrating on that distance and where he's going to land let's uh, bring that down doesn't matter if we move this around a bit okay so this we can just swing up like so let's hide the torso again Give us that arm just there and we can afford to spin him around just a touch more and these legs are gonna come back a little bit and we're gonna swap back to the flat foot so we can point this out What I've done with this character, it's from a uh, three point turnaround, so I've just deleted the um, the front and the back views, so we've just left with the side view for this exercise. Okay, so that's the next pose, so there he goes, he's off, up and away. Okay, 